It's a hostile takeover. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring, representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 328 pounds, one half of the WCW World Tag Team Champions, Kevin Nash! Why wouldn't you want to hang around Big Sexy? Don't you recall the chaos Kevin Nash and his fellow NWO cohorts caused not only in WWE but WCW as well? Got yeah. me all nervous and tongue-tied when this guy's around. I remember it well. I'm kind of hoping he power bombs you through a table like Bischoff. And his opponent from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 430 pounds, the Giant. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. <laughs> A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Think about what superstars endure in a match like this. Winning a match is always important, but this match is about survival. The punishment sustained in a cage match is shorten superstars' careers. That's why it's a fight or flight situation. Win or lose, this is a match where the end result can be absolutely disastrous. You know, guys, when you think about the history of steel cage matches, one of the most iconic cage matches ever featured Eddie Guerrero against Rey Mysterio. Yeah, Rey usually had Eddie's number, but not on that particular night. Eddie pinned Rey in the center of the ring. Superstar responds to that can be the difference between survival and peril. Oh, 
backed up. Here we go. Nash has him on Dream Street. Nash looking to close this one out. This will do it if it connects. Here we go. Jackknife. That's it. Nash just ended things. Heading for the cage door. No shame in taking the easy way. Here he goes, moving up the cage wall. Making the big climb towards victory. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Every ounce of momentum is now against him. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. See that coming. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this match. He thinks he has it. Shoulder shoots up before two. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. Got to find a way to get out of this. Dropped right on their face. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Interesting, not wasting any time. Getting that door wide open. You love to see it. Just strolling right on out through the front door. He's trying to escape through the door. Trying to win the steel cage match. Can he do it? Can he do it? He's almost there. And despite how it may look, going out the cage door is far easier said than done. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. Oh, God. And here he is, scaling up the cage wall. He gets there to stop the escape. Contact made on the side of the cage, and all that distance has been erased. Climbed so far, but not far enough. What's he going to do now? Battling on the top. Oh, back landing. And a hellacious fall from the cage. That's a tough break at this point in the match. Needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. And now he's at an impasse at the top of the cage. It might have lost it instead. Aggressive offense from Kevin Nash. Everything going in big Sussie's favor right now. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. Fortitude being tested with every step. At the top, but he still has a way to go to end this. He's nearly there. Just a few more sure-footed steps, and he's victorious. This is the moment for him. This is how winners are made. And this one is over. When you introduce the enclosure, everything is possible. What a match this was. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.